This is Bumper to Bumper TV. While it may not be politically correct, speed and ways to modify cars to make them faster still hold center court at SEMA. The annual aftermarket show in Las Vegas didn't disappoint performance enthusiasts this year who saw lots of bigger, slicker, and faster versions of what can be done to a car. And this is also where manufacturers get a chance to earn bragging rights for extreme editions of what you can buy off the showroom floor. For the first time, the show promoters even presented honors for the best in nearly every class, from trucks to sports sedans to compacts. And in what has become a tradition, mainstream car makers turn over their newest models to the aftermarket to see what serious customization can be done. Domestic nameplate Chevrolet, which is enjoying good times again, showed off some Camaro concepts, including a throwback version of the Icon with a Hot Wheels package. By the way, the tracks are optional. Hyundai chose to answer critics of the Genesis Coupe, who say it needed a V8. So what took so long? Uh, I think the biggest uh, challenge was writing the check. <laughs> uh, the car, the uh, platform is designed for V8. It fits right in. Uh, when you look at the car and examine it and talk to Reese's crew, they're here, and they'll tell you that the uh, fitment of the engine in the car was quite easy. It was very natural. At the luxury end, Lexus, which along with parent company Toyota, has had a down year, is trying to change the conversation with the new GS sedan F Sport Edition. This 350 F Sport is a bolder, stronger, more confident sports sedan, and it really represents a new direction for the Lexus design philosophy. It's a new chapter for the Lexus brand. Honda, which has relaunched the Civic this year, has not forgotten the performance loyalists with some different ways of making the subcompact even more appealing. In the past, aspiring racers would need to purchase a fully equipped race car and remove nearly all of the components before building a Civic race car. Race car builders now have the option to start with a blank slate. So whoever says the industry is only catering to small, fuel-efficient car buyers hasn't met this crowd yet. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.